This video is an example of how to use frozen sperm samples from the EXRC or NXR to produce fertilised embryos. Throughout this video, embryos are maintained in 0.1 times MBS. However, if your lab uses MMR, it is fine to substitute all steps containing MBS for the equivalent MMR. Before you start, ensure that the water bath is preheated to 37 degrees and that the 0.1 times MBS is at room temperature. You also need 20 to 200 microliter tips for handling sperm. These tips need to be either large orifice tips or pre-cut. Finally, don't forget to label your petri dishes before you start. When you use frozen sperm, you may choose, like us, to examine the quality of a small clutch of unfertilized eggs prior to making the decision to defrost aliquots of the frozen sperm itself. Gently massage the female to produce a normal sized clutch of eggs that you would otherwise fertilize using fresh sperm. When we're recovering a particularly precious line, we use a smaller clutch of eggs from three separate females to increase the likelihood of getting larger numbers of healthy offspring. Within 10 minutes of the eggs being laid, sperm aliquots need to be removed from minus 80 storage and rapidly defrosted at 37 degrees in a water bath. When recovering frozen sperm from distant minus 80 freezers, it is advised that the frozen sperm is transported on dry ice to the fertilization bench. If you prefer to use liquid nitrogen rather than minus 80 storage, then we can provide sperm in cryo tubes. Frozen sperm should be rotated in a gentle figure of eight motion for up to 30 seconds in a water bath or until thawed. Please note that a heat block is not a suitable alternative to this. Over hundreds of experiments, we have found that the fertility rate while using frozen sperm is around 80% on average and ranges between 50 and 100%. Once thawed, Add 125 microliters of room temperature 0.1 times MBS to the sperm aliquot. Make sure that you resuspend the sperm thoroughly but carefully. We have found that it is most often this step which causes the protocol to fail. Transfer the entire contents of the aliquot to the eggs contained in the petri dish, ensuring that all the eggs are evenly covered. It is important that this is done straight after the suspension as the sperm cells would sediment rapidly. Once the eggs are covered, gently spread the eggs to form one layer across the dish. We normally do this using a yellow tip, and it is important to get really good fertilization rates. Finally, after a 10 minute incubation period, flood the dish with 0.1 times MBS. Once the eggs have turned, de-jelly the eggs and grow on as normal. 